Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the uh, daily. We do these Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, 12 p.m. East uh, webinar. Um, I've been playing with my Zoom background because there's a lot of boring meetings here at Inside Real Estate. So I, I made a video that I said is the background uh, and, I, and I just drink coffee in a loop. So just a little hack for you guys. If you have a lot of boring meetings to go to at your company, you can try this out if you're wondering what that's all about. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or if you just have nothing else better to do, I'm sure you do have something else better to do than that, but just figured we'd start out with a little fun. So let me change that so it's not distracting here. Let's put a real background on there, get a little professional with this thing. There we go. And uh, I'll share my screen. And uh, for any of you guys who are new, generally uh, I come on here, I talk about a new topic. Uh, sometimes we have a little fun. Uh, these tend to be kind of uh, uh, free form where you can just ask any questions, marketing or related to marketing or growing your real estate business. And like I said, I usually have a few things to talk about to start to get the conversation started, which is what I'll do right now. Uh, just remember, these are always recorded over at insiderealestate.com slash webinars. If you come here, you'll click and you'll see the success strategy webinar replays, and then you can press uh, you can see all the all the replays going back. So there's tons and tons and tons and tons of content here. Last few days, been talking a bit about YouTube ad results. Uh, did a big diatribe kind of thing about conversion rates and how to think about conversion rates in yesterday's uh, video. Um, you know, one thing I noticed is, uh, I apologize for the audio. I think it should be better today, but something was going on with my mic and my air conditioner were causing a feedback in the recording. So I apologize if the recording still has an issue, uh, but I'll get that that taken care of. Today should be better, but the last few days, looking back, I realized they weren't that great. So just apologize. The content's still there, just a little bit of an uh, annoying thing. Uh, so good question from Dennis Shu. Can you use Zoom recording for a bomb bomb message? Um... Can you up? I can't remember if you can upload files to Bomb Bomb to Core Video. I can't remember. Can you upload the raw file, or do you have to record it right in line? Um, if you can upload the file, yeah, because you can just record in Zoom and then put the file on your computer and then upload it straight in there. Uh, yeah, that, that brings up a good point. I don't know if you could do backgrounds on Zoom uh, on uh, Core Video videos, but. Yeah, it's a good thought. But, you know, I talked yesterday, if you guys missed it, talked yesterday about doing webinars as kind of a, a content thing. So I think it would be useful to get used to using Zoom, maybe go get a free account, practice setting up a webinar. And if you didn't see yesterday's webinar, I talked about the idea of using webinars as the main content piece you send once a week in order to uh, to engage people. And maybe that would be a good thing to talk about today. I actually had a number of different things to show you, uh, but let's just go there and talk about some, to continue that conversation, let's talk about some webinar ideas, things you would do for webinars. Maybe you guys can help me build that list the ones you're watching. So real estate webinar ideas. Because as I was doing that yesterday, I actually thought maybe tomorrow we'll do more ideas and kind of put those in a list. So uh, to set the stage, the idea is that once a week you go into KV Core, you send an invite email to invite somebody to a Zoom webinar, then the next day you remind them that the webinar is happening that day. See, that's your second email. And then you send a replay uh, a day or two later, kind of maybe on the weekend, you say, here's this week's replay. And this is a cadence that I personally use to market things like KB Core and other projects, thanks.io that I have going on. Uh, and it seems to work for any business. You can get into that cadence where all of your content and all of your incubation of customers can revolve around events like the one you're sitting on right now. So how would you do this in real estate? Let's just get some topic, topics. So first time, Home Buyers Webinar. Edward, I'll get to your, we're going to have an action-packed uh, session today. Edward, I'll get to your question. Lots of stuff to cover. So first time Home Buyers Webinar, first time Investors Webinar. Those could be topics. Um, uh, first uh, special financing programs for first time buyers, right? You could do a buyers, uh, how to um, buy your first investment property. That might be different than first time investors webinar. It could be more specific, but let's, let's back that out and say how to, um, set, how to keep your current, help me out guys, house as an investment, and buy another to live in or how to, how to sell your small house and buy a bigger one. Seven downsizing tips for Tampa area retirees, right? House downsizing tips or something like that. 
become become and buy an Airbnb investment property. Let's discuss the pros and cons. So these are just kind of templates for topics. And, you know, you could go on over and over. I was hoping a few guys watching would have an idea, um, but, you know, a few ideas, but maybe I'll, I'll refine this list out and we'll put it somewhere as a resource in the Facebook group or in the help desk. Um, I'd also like to eventually what I'll probably do in the near future is create some kind of a course in a learning portal that shows you how to execute webinars like this. But the idea would be is that once a week, you either get on a loan, you get a teammate from your company, you pull in your lender, you pull in a, a pro, um, you know, maybe a, a, to to talk about this topic. So, um, you know, how to how to prepare your house for a sale with interior with home stage or pro, you know, extraordinaire and name of home stager, <laughs> right? So you can have guests. So again, the tactic would be you do one of these a week, you share it on social, you get to the point where everybody who's in your database gets used to seeing some unique piece of real estate related content via a live episode like this. It happens on Zoom. You're just talking about the topic the way you see me doing um, and you invite them every week and you get a captive audience. They can invite their friends if it's a topic they're interested in. Uh, and this to me is a great way to convert leads and probably a much more efficient way than trying to build out fancy smart campaigns with all kinds of canned emails. So uh, again, it's kind of next level. You're going to get used to doing webinars and doing Zooms. But uh, when people ask me about what they can do to convert more leads, I, I always like to point here is kind of the, the kind of next level stuff. All right. So I'll jump over to Edward's question here. New to KV Core, is it possible to add a page to my site for my buyer seller eBooks? Um, uh, I think we probably talked about this in webinars, but Edward, I can just show you. So um, you can definitely add a page if you have a, a list of those eBooks. Okay. So I'll just show you where to do that. It's the custom page functionality. So you could have maybe a navigation item that says eBooks, and then you would have a page very, very kind of straightforward to do. I'm going to click on web and IDX. And then I'm going to go right over here where after I click on web and IDX, oops, I'm in Jamie's site. I hope he doesn't, I mean, I usually try to be in mine, but I don't think it'll hurt here. And then I'll click view and edit right under where it says custom pages, right there. And bear with me, I do need to not be logged in to another person's account if I'm gonna show you guys an example right here. So let me just bounce out of there. I end up doing a lot of support type stuff around our advertising products. So a lot of times I end up logged in to other people's accounts. Sorry about that. Um, so uh, web and IDX is where you go. And then custom pages right here. So what you would do, Edward, is you would just create a new custom page. So we'll go here, new custom page, and we do eBooks, right? And you might do a video up top that says, hey, welcome, check out my eBooks or something like that, but you could just list them, you know, um, how to buy your first investment property, seven things to know if you're one selling your house, whatever that might be. And in each case, you're going to link to the actual ebook. So you would highlight and link, and then you put the www.link to ebook, you know, right there. And then what you could do is you can actually add this, let's save this right here. And you can see um, it asks you what category. So this will be what category in the navigation of your site, you want this added to, or you can just do eBooks right there. Actually, just quick links, save. eBooks like that. And then if I go to my site, I hope this answers your question. Um, but if I go to my site and then I look under my quick links, it'll be up top. Now, I'm trying to remember how. I think there's a way to do it so that it just says eBooks in the main navigation of your site and it doesn't have this kind of sub drop down that I'm waiting to load here. Why isn't it loaded? It should load for me here in a second. Let's see if I click on resource uh, eBooks. Oh, there it is. It's right up at the top. So uh, I wonder, you know, just a few things I'll mention in anticipation of other questions you or others might have. 
if you're wondering how to get the ebook into a link format online, um, you can upload it to Google Drive and then use that. But I like to use this thing called DocDroid, DocDroid.net, DocDroid.net. I realize it might be a little small to see. Um, but I find this to be very convenient. I can take any PDF. Do I have any on here? Type PDF. And it'll quickly spit out a URL for the PDF, which is really, really handy. Uh, I don't have any PDFs. Let me just see if it'll do it for. Okay, it's it's almost any file. So I just did a, um, it wants a doc, a text or PDF. Let's see here. There we go. See, it gives you this nice link right here that will link to your uh, ebook. So yeah, Edward, if you have your books on Google Drive, I think you can just share the file URL and link directly to that. Just make, make sure it's publicly available um, and you, you might not need some, that information. But just for anybody who's wondering, you know, when I did the custom page and I said to link it, you are going to need to link it to an online destination. So that's why I mentioned that. Um, if you want to give away your ebooks, the next thing you can do is you could create a page. So I'm going to go into the lead engine here. And this might be a strategy to employ. And you could give away each uh, ebook via a landing page. So if you want to give me a title of one of them, or I can just make up a title. Um, but, you know, a free ebook, how to buy your first investment property with as little money down as possible. Ooh, that would be a good webinar. <laughs> there we go. Any ebook topic is probably a good webinar topic too, right? In fact, you could turn your webinars into ebooks when you're done. Um, so, right, you could do that. And then what you could do is you can redirect all your leads to your ebooks. This is a little bit of a hack, right? I hope you're following here. So I'm just going to send anybody who opts in here, I'll just take them to the page with all my ebooks. And then at the top of the page, I could just have some text that says the ebooks, uh, you know, ebooks, uh, down below, please find all of our eBooks. So if they up, if they opted in for just one thing, right, they can always uh, you know, access the other ones, but you don't have to go create a new thank you page part of the funnel every time you want to offer another one of your eBooks. It's always going to be on that page. If you want to do a video at the top of the custom page, says, "Hey, welcome to my eBooks page. If you just uh, logged in for for a through an ad uh, through my page to access the eBook, you'll find it down below. I've also included all my eBooks down below for you." as well. So um, yeah, fun little topic there. But if you have ebooks, definitely make a page and then you can give them away with landing pages like this. Um, if you've created the ebook yourself, um, you know, try to pay attention to good headline and copywriting and, and do curiosity. I'm guessing that if you bought the ebooks or got them from another content source, that they've probably already done a pretty good job and you can just copy the title of the ebook into your landing page and stand a pretty good chance, you know, that it'll, it'll get an okay opt-in rate. Um, Edwards asking, can landing pages be added as individual tabs? Another great question. So yeah, so I could, um, let's see here. Uh, instant free access. I'll finish building this and I'll call this my investment ebook is my hashtag. Um, background, of course, you know, we can, we can do anything. Uh, do save, hit okay. And then, yeah, all I would do is I would take the URL of my landing page like this and instead of building custom pages, I would go back into Web and IDX here. And instead of actually building a full page, I can actually just add uh, links to my uh, my navigation. And man, I'm going to get a little stumped. I usually need Annalisa for this one, but let me let me muddle through. So I think what you do is you click new page, just like you were doing. Uh, a new page, but watch this. I'll do a title and I'll say investment ebook. I won't put any content in the page. And I think what you do is you go right here where it says URL and you do link to an external page. And then this will basically skip the a page opening up on the site and it'll just take the person directly to this URL, right? But it'll still add it to the the, the main navigation. So let me try that. I'm gonna hit save put it in quick, quick links like that, save. Okay, my investment ebook. Now let's see what happens when I go to the site. Hopefully I was right about this. Yep, 
Yeah, there it is. It's, see, it's investment ebook. And if I click on that, it'll then take people to my tab right here. So there's, if you look at um, help.insiderealestate.com, I think this is a resource a lot of people forget about, but uh, do custom pages. I think that's the one. And then you'll have a full doc. I'll, I'll drop this in the chat there, right? It should walk through all the ins and outs of what I just showed you here. You know, how to make it, how to add it to the menu, kind of how it works, uh, how to get it to show at the top of the menu or not. It's a nice detailed article here for you guys. So I'll uh, drop this here, but just search custom pages in our help desk and it'll give you all the docs. But Edward, yeah, I really like that idea. You know, you could have in your navigation, uh, you know, investor, free investor ebook, right? Or something like that. And then instead of taking them straight to the ebook, uh, you're going to take them to a landing page that makes them opt in to get it. Yeah, really cool concept. Cool. Okay, so good topic. I appreciate that question. Um, so what else did I have for today? Oh, I just had a few tips for you guys that I thought I thought might just serve anybody watching. Um, I'm going to do a couple of plugs. Uh, my wife and I are actually in the process of uh, looking into maybe buying an investment property. Um, you know, we've got, I, I've got this kind of equity in my primary burning a hole in my wallet. It's just sitting there not doing anything. Right. So, so I just want to share with you a couple of resources. Um, this figure.com right here, and I'm not affiliated with any lenders, you know, and, and don't, this is just, I don't know if you'll have the same experience we had. This was quite amazing. If you know anybody who needs a HELOC, um, most of the professional mortgage guys that I talk to don't do HELOCs. I think they say, just go to your local bank, right? The, the home equity line of credit thing is not really something they want to do anyway. Um, but this site, figure.com, I don't know if you've seen them, but we were able to, uh, just given our situation, within five minutes, they were able to verify income, uh, look at the bank statements, look at the credit score, uh, get the address of the property and figure out the value and kind of do everything that's needed and just basically do an approval of a, of a home equity line um, that was only contingent on, it was crazy, just meeting with an e-notary for like five minutes and just verifying that you were who you said you were, like showing your ID. And it was crazy. So um, I was shocked. Maybe I'm old school or something, but it, I never thought it could be this easy. And, you know, you're funded in five days. So if you have any clients who are looking for, you know, might be in a situation who are looking for home equity, or if you just want to share this resource, you want to look into it yourself, this could be a way to uh, get people thinking about maybe tapping some of their equity to buy an investment property. We're also in crazy times right now. This could be really useful to some people who might you know, have employment issues and have their backs against the wall and they might not know this is an option. So this might be a good thing you can recommend to just help somebody out if they do have significant equity in their house. Um, was pretty painless. I thought the rate considered for what it was was fine. There were some fees, you know, but I, it, I'll let you be the judge of all that. The convenience was, was really, really cool. Uh, right there. So that's figure. And then uh, Vizio, I've talked to over the years a number of times. I'm not plugging again, talk to your lender, your broker, but this is kind of a direct lender, Vizio lending that specializes in rental loans. Um, so they basically do a low doc kind of deal if you don't want to get into a full bank qualification. Um, uh, I just have a situation where I need to go this route. My wife, my wife's a stay-at-home mom and you know, we're doing it in her name and all this stuff. So there's no income, but there's, there's an option here uh, that for your investors that I think so far, the experience has been really good. Um, seems pretty fair for what it is. Again, you'll have a higher rate, but you can go in, um, you know, use a HELOC and go in and buy an investment property here. So thought you guys might find that interesting. Um, this is a success strategies webinar. I don't usually get into this kind of thing where I'm plugging uh, lenders or anything like that. But uh, I thought this, this might play into, you know, might help you generate more business. And these are the kinds of programs that you could uh, do videos about, maybe, maybe uh, do an ebook about, right? Do a blog post about, and then uh, mass email it out to everybody in your KV core system. I might do this. I'll email it out to my, all my leads and say, Hey, I found this cool company that does, a, seems to be legit. They do a good home equity line. This is a way that you can send out content and then uh, maybe create the desire. You're basically brokering, right? That's what we're in the business of doing. You're creating the desire uh, from somebody who might not be thinking about buying an investment property a minute ago, then get your email. And they're like, wait a minute. Yeah. I've got a bunch of equity and I would like to own an investment property. And if I can do it using these resources in a, in a pain-free way, well, naturally I'm going to uh, reply back to this realtor who sent me this info and ask him what the next steps are. Right. So that's kind of my thinking there. Remember at any time you can go into the smart CRM, you can click on the checkbox, you know, filter out your leads and just send that, you know, so I might check off all the people who've opted into my investment property list and say, Hey, you know, 
easy, easy way to get investment property down payment, you know, something like that. And then just talk about what I just showed you that figure.com site. Um, now, if they turn out to be a total, I'll let you know if they turn out to not be what I thought they were. Uh, it seems like everything's legit. I kind of looked, you know, I know this industry, I looked into it and, you know, tried to be careful, looked for reviews and other people. I got a nice direct mail piece from them a few weeks ago. Uh, so I uh, looked at the fees. It seems legit, but I'll let you know if it turns out not to be the case. Uh, and the the point I'm making there is de definitely do your own due diligence and don't just be um, recommending stuff to your customers because you heard me say it somewhere. <laughs> On a webinar, but I think that's an example of the kind of thing you can do. Uh, you know, if you have a service that you like, you can go ahead and recommend it and send it as incubation content that gets people to engage with you. Um, to make a long story short, all right, 20 minutes in, guys, I can keep going. Does anybody else have any questions or anything you'd like me to talk about? I just had one or two other things that I can mention today, and then I'll let you go. Um, I had this California campaign from a few weeks ago. Uh, that we were working on. And the other thing that we did was, I just thought this was interesting. I don't know if there'll be much of a takeaway here for you is that we did change targeting on some existing Google ad campaigns to be, instead of being national, uh, anybody in the country who searches or anybody local who searches, I think these were local actually, who searches these keywords, we switched it alongside the video to only target California. Uh, I was talking about running ads in California to get people to move to Florida. And it's interesting what we saw, what we've seen. So the last week, the cost per conversion on this one was 19, 20 bucks. This one was eight bucks. And lifetime, this is really crude analysis. Lifetime, that's about, that's a bit more. Uh, on the one campaign, it's more than double what we usually pay for a lead, but it didn't go too much more on the condos campaign that we had running here. So just a, I don't know, just an anecdote, you know, play around with that. Um, you could also have two campaigns that target one campaign can target in your in your state, you know, in your local area, and one campaign can and can target you know another state uh, and see what happens. I was expecting that the prices went up and they did go up a little bit, so uh, figured I'd share that. And again, the um, the actual video ad campaign is was chugging along, getting some good views there, uh, eleven cents per view with a bunch of clicks coming in. Uh, I just need to refine that out and I'll probably talk about it more next week. So here's a question from Craig. Uh, if I have two contacts who are married and I merge them, do they both receive these two alerts without having to do communication two times? Um, if they're, I think so. Or do they have the same email? You might be stumping me a little. This could be, you could be revealing a little bit of a lack of comprehensive understanding of how this function works here. So uh, let's go into a contact record. I have never merged two contacts. And I'll be honest, I didn't even know you could do that. There's always new things that can you go and learn every day. Um, but let me see, uh, maybe you can walk me through this, Craig. So you're saying that I can go into two contacts right here. So let me go into two and I can merge them. Let me give them two test contacts. I've never tried to do that. Or did you manually merge them? But you, you're saying you want to take their contact info. Uh, honestly, I don't know where we're at. I know we've had the request a lot to make to merge husband and wife kind of into one contact record. Like, uh, or, or the spirit of that is that people want to be able to send the same alert email without setting it up twice. Okay, thanks, Ernest. Uh, so open up the lead profile and merge under more actions. Okay, gotcha. Let me do that. Over here. Okay, got it. Thanks. Thanks, Ernest. Um, so collaborate. He's talking about right here, merge contact. Yep, never knew, never knew you could do that. Um, let's just pick myself. Okay, Ernest, do you know? Um, so if I merge, no. So it's only going to merge to one email, right? It, it won't, it, it'll still only have one email that it sends the communications to. It won't add two emails to the one contact record. I think that what you're looking for, Craig, is a feature that we've seen requested. It might be in development. I just don't know where it might be at, where basically it would have two emails attached to that new contact and it would send them both your property alerts. But I think right now you're, you're still in a situation where you're gonna need to just set up separate alerts for each one, unfortunately. Um, so you can add the spouse's contact. Ernest is helping, me, her, helping us out here. You can add the spouse's contact in more details down here. Um, but that still doesn't send the alerts, right? Uh, well, I guess you could just CC on the alerts. See down here, the email CC. 
Yeah, I haven't looked at that in a while, but you could definitely just add the separate CC email. And anybody else who works at KV Core who's watching me and laughing at me right now, just enjoy. I see you laughing at me. I see you laughing, Ernest. <laughs> it's like sometimes the most basic stuff that I'm supposed to know, I don't know, but you know, ask me, ask me something really hard and I'll get you the answer. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, so that's that. Um, what else did we have today to talk about? Uh, Ernest is on, I'll just tell you guys, we're working on some really cool stuff with messenger bots just coming soon. Um, just totally nasty. Uh, Ernest has built something really cool that that is just a nasty, nasty thing. It's coming down the pike just to get you a little, little excited about that and to tease a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have much else to share today. Um, if, if, if you guys don't have anything else, I'll let you go. Just remind you that insiderealestate.com slash webinars is where you can get the replays of these. Invite your team. The whole idea here is that, you know, I just come on and show some, go on a random walk and show some stuff. Uh, hopefully it gives you a little inspiration. If you have any marketing type issues that you're wrestling with and you want to kind of come in and, and bounce it off me and the other people who might be watching and, you know, kind of crowdsource a solution, you can do that on these webinars. And you can also do it in the Facebook group at insiderealestate.com slash Facebook group. Make sure you join in there and you can also always post your stuff there. One thing that a lot of people are doing is they're posting to KV Core support. They're posting their Facebook ads and asking our support team to give feedback. And the truth is a lot of, not a lot of our support team is actually run Facebook ads. It's not really in the job description. So if you ever have issues like that, like the things that I'm talking about today that are advanced strategic, you know, how do I use this technology to get traffic, you know, but it's not really functionality of the system, come into the Facebook group or show up on these webinars and you will get a lot of help. There are not just me. I mean, Ernest is in there. I got my buddy Shane in there, Adam Frank's in there. We got a lot of people in this group who can really help you out and you just, just don't be shy. Just go in there and post your question. You're going to get a lot, a lot of good support. Um, so, uh, Judy's asking, where can I find tutorials about how to build up my website beyond the regular template? Um, I would go to help.insiderealestate.com and, um, search for website, but I don't know how much is in there. I, I think just for a shortcut today, I'm going to direct you to the virtual training summit replays. So if you go to insiderealestate.com slash webinars, we have that second box here, virtual training summit replays. And there's a webinar in here that uh, David Sheltron did. So control F web, website, website design and customization. Um, there is about an hour long, but he shows a lot of cool things you can do to kind of play with your design. So definitely check that out. There's a lot of great content that we did in April and May uh, in that list. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Annalise is, I'm trying to pause it. Um, so a lot of great content there. And then let me try to find you an article to help you along your way today before we go. Uh, website. This may help. There's just a lot of, yeah, this, this article may help and it probably links to some other ones. So Judy. So this is kind of some advanced tips for customizations right there. But otherwise, you know, a lot of these settings are definitely going to be found in the website tab and uh, just, just, just start clicking through and switching with knobs. I mean, you know, it just, just turn stuff on and off, put things somewhere, see what changes. That's probably the best way to really learn it. You know, take an hour and, and a stiff drink <laughs> and, and, and have some fun. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday at 12 p.m. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, sell some houses or list some houses or whatever it is you're doing these days. Uh, and we'll see you on Tuesday at 12 p.m. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.